Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this from the middle blanket. You actually start in the middle and then you keep crocheting around. This one is one that I'm working on for my son. Um, and let's get started. Okay, so here is the yarn that I'm using. It's Crafter Secret. And it is in white. It's 100% acrylic. And you will be using a an eye hook, which is 5.5. Okay, hey guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the slip stitch. Um, this is just what I like to do. I mean, you can look it up on YouTube and maybe find another one if this isn't easy for you. Um, you can, I start off by holding the yarn just like this. And I wrap around and then I cross it over and then wrap it around again and then I take my hook and I go under the first one and then over the second one to grab it and then you just pull now to start on this blanket what I do is I just chain four um, one two, three, and four. And I go back into the first stitch or the first chain and you just slip stitch into that. And it creates a small loop. Um, you go back into the center of this and you grab, you yarn over, pull through, and you do a single crochet. Now from here, you just simply chain up three. One, two, and three. And then you go back into the center of uh, the circle that you made. And then you pull through. And here you're going to slip stitch again and you want to make four corners so this is one corner you're going to chain up one two and three and then you're going to hold on to your tail there um, you're going to just simply go back in and then you come back out and then do another single crochet Then again, you chain up three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to go back into the center to make our third corner. Sorry guys, there's another hair. Okay. Okay, sorry about that guys, my battery died. Um, now, you have your single crochet, and then we are going to chain up three for our last corner. One, two, three, yeah, for our last corner. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And then we go back into the center for our, um, last corner and we just go ahead and um, oh no 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm I just messed up all right sorry guys now um from here you just slip stitch into the first chain that you made on your chain three when you started this. So you go into right here. And you just slip stitch. I 
crochet this too tight. And you just simply slip stitch to there. Now, here you have your four corners. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I am actually going to cut this little one a little bit shorter until we, well, actually I'm just going to go ahead and cut it because, okay. Now, oops. Now what you do from here is you go into this first, oops, sorry, it's a little out of focus. So you go into this one and you are going to um, slip stitch into this. And you're going to chain up three, one. Okay, so um, now we are going to go ahead and do two double crochets into this one so we go one two and we just scoot this one over just a tiny bit so we can work back in this one so now we're going to do three chain three one two three and we're going to go straight into that same corner right back into this corner right here and you go one here's one and then we're going to go back in for two And then we are going back in the same one for three. Now there's one corner and then we are we're going to double crochet into this corner three times. One, two, and three. And I'll show you this last corner before I let you guys do this on your own. And you're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then go back into the same corner right here. We're going to do three double crochets. One. Two. Here's two, and here is three. Here's three. Okay guys, I am halfway done with it, and I am going to let you guys do this on your own, and I will come back when it's time to slip stitch into this corner for round two. Okay guys, now I'm back and um, you, we are going to slip stitch into the first chain three, um, this one right here. So you're going to slip stitch into this one right here. Yeah, slip stitch into, no, sorry, it's actually this one right here. So we are going to slip stitch this like this, and this completes round one. So now I'm going to go ahead and just stop right here, and I'm going to actually switch color. So here is 
the beginning of this blanket. I'm going to actually start a new color. So what I want to do is I want to weave this tail in and out of my yarn. I mean of my small blanket. I don't have to go all the way through, but I am going to do one last one. And here is round one. Now I'm going to start with round two and I'm going to use this pink color because this is for my daughter as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I am going to do the same thing that I did to start off with a, to start off with a slip knot. So again, you go under, over, pull through. I just end up inserting my hook right here. And this is how I do it. I don't know if other crocheters do this too, but this is just how I do it. It's a little bit easier for me to do it this way. Um, I just do a slip stitch just to put it around this, this part. And then I just hold these two tails together and kind of just go around the corner with them. So again, we go ahead and we chain up three, one, two, and three, and then we double, cro double crochet into this first um, into this first corner. Sorry, hold on, let me fix it here. And you double crochet into this, and you round over, pull through two, round over, pull through the last two, and then you're going to do one more for this side, it's one, and then this is the second one. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And I'm going to go um, yarn over and go right through that same one. And you're going to do three double crochets in this one too. In this same corner. So yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. And I'm just going... Now I'm just going to keep doing this. Just the same way. I'm going to put the second double crochet and now the third. Now here you don't have to chain or anything. You just go yarn over and go straight into that next space right there. One. and three and here's another corner so you're just gonna go right into it there's one two and three And sorry about that guys, I just picked up a piece of extra yarn. I don't know what that was. Okay, now again like all the other corners, you are going to stitch up three and go right back into that. One, 
two, three. And like I said, just go straight into this next one. You do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Grab some more yarn here. Go into the corner. One, two, three. You want to chain three. One, two, three. And go back right into it. Oh, sorry guys, my hook wasn't catching the yarn. It's two, and here is three. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this section over here, this last um, half over here, and I will come back. So then we can um, join the join the round. Okay, now I'm back and I've done this from here all the way over. Like I said, the second half of this round. Now I am going to slip stitch into this um, the first chain three. And these two right. Right here. I'm just going to grab it and pull through and through. So now you can continue doing this um, another round of pink or you can change colors. Um, me, I am going to do another round of pink and then I will do two rounds of white and then two rounds of pink and I'll keep repeating that pattern until I get just about the right size for this little guy to hold on to. Um, I will be changing out the eye, the, um, the buttons out of the eyes because I have heard that it looks a little scary from some people. Um, I will be leaving this the way it is because my daughter does like it. Um, but I will be doing something with the eyes. Maybe drawing pupils or something like that on them. Um, but yeah, I will come back and show you what I've gotten after I do the second row of pink. And I get another row of white. And... Um, yeah, I'll be back. One more thing, guys, I forgot to tell you. Um, you actually have to, if you, you can't start it where it's at. You have, and after you finish a round, you can't start it right here. You actually have to slip stitch into a corner. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you just take your hook and you slip into this one. And then you slip into this chain or this stitch. Oop. You just slip. You don't over or round yarn over. Now this one, you just go ahead and slip stitch into the corner. So you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna go into the corner, grab yarn, and then you're going to um, slip stitch. I will come back when I have my my last row of pink and then my white. I know I said I'd come back after I got done um, with 
the row of white but I wanted to just go ahead and get this on camera so I just go ahead and again like I said when you change colors you just go up three and this you're gonna do with any row that you um, that you do again or that not you do again but that you um, start so then I'm going to hold on to these tails just like I did when I switched to the pink and I am going to do two double crochets into this and here's the second one Now, I've been working on my son's blanket that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video for a few days now. And it's getting bigger and I will show you guys that one at the end of the video. Actually, that blanket will be on my... Facebook also. I'll post a picture there and on my Instagram. You can feel free to follow me on either either one of those. And I have a Twitter too. Um, I just my husband just set that Twitter up for me, and um, I'm not quite sure how to use Twitter yet, but I will find out soon. But I would love for you guys to follow me and I will follow back. I will put my links for all three of my my Facebook, Instagram, and my Twitter at the um, in the description and at the end of the video. So if you guys have any questions about this pattern or any of the other videos that you sea of mine you can go ahead and feel free to leave comments with your question well leave questions in the comments or you can message me on any of my social media and I will get back to them
And that is it for this video. I know it's a little small, um, but as you guys do get, um, as your blankets do get bigger, they do get easier. At least to me it was a little bit easier as it got bigger. Um, now with these on the back of your blanket, you can just take your scissors and just cut them. Be careful not to cut the rest of your blanket. And then it'll just hide in there like so. But um yeah, guys, I am going to leave you with this. Don't forget if you guys choose if you guys do choose to do this pattern, tag me on Facebook and Instagram and I will go give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.